around our fourth year of marriage. I wanted to have a child but could not conceive, so I took a test and found out that I was infertile. I've been trying to get fertility treatment since then until today, but my husband seems to have given up and is giving me a hard time. My husband and I had always talked about how we both wanted kids. I never thought I was infertile, so I figured I could have it as soon as I wanted it. But when it turned out that I was infertile, I was extremely disappointed. My husband had kind words for me. I'll support you and will keep on believing that one day we'll have a child. Those words really saved my life. My husband had really said it and did things for me. He supported me financially and mentally, and that's why I've worked so hard for the past four years. But just when you think there is hope, you find yourself back at the beginning. I thought about quitting many times because the treatment was so painful, but in the end I just couldn't give up. My husband wants to have children. I have worked hard all this time to believe that. I feel like my devoted and supportive husband was the first to falter. He recently told me, You don't have to keep doing this anymore, right? That being said, I knew my husband had given up. Of course, I could understand how my husband felt, and I could sympathize with him because it was hard for me too. But I was still kind of shocked that he was willing to come this far and give up. So, we decided to discuss about having children again. I understand where you're coming from, but I'd like you to hang in there with me a little longer. But you've tried so many times before. Frankly, I'm tired of it. Don't say that. I still want to keep trying. You can try all you want, but I can't keep up with you anymore. It just wasn't meant to be for us to have a child. Wouldn't it be easier to just give up gracefully? My husband's words shocked me tremendously. I didn't expect him to say this to me. If I could give up like that, I wouldn't have gone through such painful treatment in the first place. I've been trying for four years up to the point where it seems impossible. But even more so, I still want to keep trying. But I couldn't do it alone without your support. I'm sorry, but I'm getting out of here. I know it's a shame, but you don't have a choice. You're infertile. I felt like my husband was blaming me so much for what he said. I'm sorry I'm infertile, but I'm trying so hard to have a baby with you. And it's hard when you say things like that blaming me. I'm not accusing you of anything. But you won't give up unless I say so, right? I told you I don't want to give up. Please. I know it's hard, but let's just hang on a little longer. Whatever you say. I can't take it anymore. I honestly don't even know if I want kids right now. Can't you see that all you need is me? You don't want to have kids? Are you serious? I would be happy if I would have a baby right now, but I don't know how many more years it will take. And I'm worried about having a baby when I'm already too old. Maybe we could have a life together. Just the two of us. No way! Although I had sensed my husband's mood of resignation, the shock of being told so clearly was immeasurable. I'm still having a hard time giving up even after all that's been said. I ended up fighting with my husband and we still haven't worked it out. I think my husband is a kind man and maybe he doesn't want to see me suffer. But I still want to do my best and I would expect him to respect that intention. I know it sounds like I'm pushing my feelings, but having a child is my dream. I don't want to give up when there is still hope for me in terms of age. Of course, there's the financial issue, and I can thank my husband enough for that part of it. I hate the thought of losing, not because of money, but because of our emotions. It looks like none of us is going to budge. I hope things don't get any worse. Actually, I think I'm pregnant. I did the test as usual and it showed I was pregnant. So I rushed to make an appointment with the obstetrician's office I usually go to. 
And now I'm just waiting until it's time. By the way, I haven't told my husband yet. I couldn't tell him until I could get a proper examination. So I'm not happy about that. But even so, I'm still happy. I can't believe I'm pregnant. It's like a dream. I've had a fight with my husband and things had been getting rough. But if things go well, everything will change. I'm sure my husband would be absolutely thrilled to hear about it. It's almost time for me to go. I took the test at my appointment schedule and was so excited to get the result that I was certainly pregnant. I wanted to tell my husband in person, but I couldn't wait until he got home, so I called him on the way from the hospital. Hello? What's up? Oh, I'm sorry to bother you at work. Actually, I wanted to let you know. I'm busy. Can we do this later? At the same time he said that, I witnessed a strange sight. I found my husband holding his phone. My husband didn't recognize me though. I told him I understood, hang up and decided to go after him. So I followed him for a while. And then my husband went into another hospital. And for some reason, it was at an obstetrics and gynecology hospital. My husband walked into the hospital room and started snuggling with a woman I didn't know. And in the woman's arms was a baby. I was too confused. So I listened to the conversation in a way that the two of them wouldn't see me. Good job! Thanks for giving birth to my baby. I certainly heard my husband say that. I couldn't help but jump out in front of them. Hey! What do you mean? What are you doing here? My husband looked at me with a panicked expression on his face. The woman holding the baby in bed looked just as surprised as him. I did the test and found out that I was pregnant, so I just went to the hospital to confirm. What? So, you're pregnant then? Yes, I'm pregnant. It's definitely yours, but what about that baby? Well, my husband kept his mouth shut at my words. It was obvious he was hiding something. I heard you say the word my baby earlier. Are you sure it's yours? Yeah, that's right. My husband realized that he couldn't get away with it and he honestly admitted it. But I was freaking out in my head. I questioned my husband. Was it the fact that she was pregnant that changed your mind about my fertility treatments? What were you going to do then anyway? She told me that she was pregnant with my baby and I asked her to have it. I was going to acknowledge the baby and she wanted to have a child too, so... I'm asking you what you're going to do with the child that you had with the woman you're having an affair with. Will she be satisfied with just you acknowledging it? What about my feelings? I wasn't thinking of dumping you or anything like that. I care about you. But I also like her and wanted to respect her wishes. Besides, the child is innocent, right? I had dreams of being a father too, and I want to make them come true. So after talking it over with her, we decided to let her have the baby. I could never quite understand what my husband was saying to me. Then I had an idea. I decided to call my mother-in-law there. No matter how you look at it, we needed a third party. When I called my mother-in-law and gave a quick explanation, she came right over. Is it true that my son was having an affair? When my mother-in-law found us, she came up to us with an angry look. It's not about just cheating. He says this is his child. My mother-in-law was very upset when I said that. What do you mean? So, you're the cheating partner then? My mother-in-law asked the woman holding the baby. The woman's face crunched up. Yes, that's right. This one is definitely his too. That's what she said. I can't believe it. Do you know what you're doing? How are you going to take responsibility for this? My mother-in-law now turned to my husband and yelled at him. I'm going to raise this baby with her and I'm not going to leave Jane either. She's fine with that. That's why I had her give birth to the baby. And look how cute she is. 
It's your first grandchild. My mother-in-law was having a hard time wrapping her hand around what my husband said. Have you asked Jane how she feels about this? Did Jane say that it was okay too? If not, why are you deciding on something so important with just the woman you cheated with? That's not right at all, is it? What you are doing is arrogant and selfish. Besides, do you really think a child raised in these conditions could be happy? It's, I'm going to make my child happy. You can't even make your own wife happy. I didn't give Jane a hard time. I let her take fertility treatments as she wanted, and she didn't have any trouble making ends meet. That's not the point. My mother-in-law blamed him for what he had done as much as she could. I told my mother-in-law that I was pregnant. Mother, I actually just found out I'm pregnant. So on my way home from getting the test results, I happened to see my husband. Oh no. Really? It's supposed to be a joyous occasion, but why did it turn out like this? My mother-in-law looked very troubled. I know exactly what it is because I felt the same way. My husband looked awkward the whole time. Anyway, you can't have it both ways. Take it over with Jane. You are Jane's husband, remember? Respect Jane's feelings before anyone else's. When my mother-in-law said this, my husband looked apologetic. I certainly feel bad that I didn't check in with Jane to see how she felt. I thought Jane would respect my opinion. But we'll talk about it together from now on. That's what he said. There's a life involved. So you may have cooperated with her regarding the birth, but cheating is something else, isn't it? I'm sorry, but so far, I can't agree with anything right now. I said that, and my husband nodded and apologized again. Sorry. In the meantime, let's go home and talk. That's what he told me, and my husband and I went home. I asked my mother-in-law to go back to her own house for now. I was able to tell my husband most of what I wanted to say, and my husband seemed to feel some remorse because of my mother-in-law's words. Jane, I'm so sorry I cheated on you. Her getting pregnant wasn't part of the plan, but she told me she didn't want the child until we were married, and I would only pay child support for the kid and see him a few times a week. So will you be okay with that? My husband made a suggestion like that, but I wasn't going to accept it from the start. I can't even forgive you for cheating on me. How can I accept a situation like that? It's too bad that I have trusted you so much and endured all this treatment because we both wanted children. Only to find out about this betrayal when I finally got pregnant. I didn't think you would get pregnant either, because you weren't able to in those four years, right? So I asked for help to make my dream come true. Then I guess my dreams didn't matter. I didn't say that, and I care about you, so I will continue to support you. I intend to have my child, but I'm getting a divorce from you. You pay child support, but I won't let you see the child. I don't want to see your face. I said and packed my bags. My husband saw me like that, though, and tried to stop me. You're the most important thing to me. You're the one I married. I don't want to divorce you and I want to raise my kid with you. If you don't like it so much, I'll only support you and our kid. So don't leave. Don't be silly. You're not even sure she's ready for this. But you're abandoning a child that's already been born? I can't raise a child with someone like that. Again, I'm disappointed. I really can't anymore. I really did leave the house when I said that. I'm just now getting back to my parents' house. Thank God my parents live close by. When I told my parents, they got mad. He's not qualified to be a father. They said. And they also said they would support me. I couldn't help but tear up at the warm words from my parents. Of course I'm going to have my husband pay child support and help me financially. I got the divorce papers from the town hall and planned to mail them. And a few days later, 
I mailed the divorce papers without incident. My husband got it, I think, and he kept calling. Is there really no other way but to get a divorce? I care about you, you know? If you really cared about me, you wouldn't have cheated on me. It's too late to say anything now. The only part I understand is that the child is innocent, and I will try to raise my own child well, but I don't need you to be there. Just do your duty as a father. Oh, and I'm thinking of hiring a lawyer now, so I'll be asking for alimony later. Do you hate me that much? Aren't I your husband? I've told her I'll only pay her child support and won't see the kid much, so I can focus only on raising my child with you. I'll support you through the birth too. You can do what you want with your affair partner, but I've decided to divorce you and raise my kid alone. You decided on your own, so don't complain if I decided on my own as well. If you want to be involved so badly, just make sure you pay your child support. No way. I wasn't about to change my opinion, so I turned down my husband's proposal once and for all. I'm naturally worried about what's to come, but I'd rather that my child not have a father like him. I'm sure someday when my baby grows up, he'll come to understand what I'm thinking. I think I just have to believe that now and keep pushing forward. There's more misery with that kind of father than there is with that one. I know there will be a lot of hardship in the future, but I will get through it all for the sake of my kid.